y'all! It is so good to see you! Since I last made a video, I have traveled over 10,000 miles with my dad. What a joy it was to explore Northern Europe with him, but most of all, to minister and tell people about Jesus Christ and His infinite love. We traveled to six countries, including the Russian Federation, Germany, Finland, Estonia, Denmark, and Sweden. And what an honor and a privilege to be able to go there and to hand out tracts and to tell people about Jesus. It was such an honor as well to sing at the First International Baptist Church of Copenhagen. What a joy and a privilege to sing there and to minister to the congregation. I'm so grateful for the things that I get to do and the places I get to go with my dad. God has just poured out his blessings upon us this summer and we've just we've got people in our hearts that we met who we gave tracts to and we pray for daily because we can see their faces in our minds. And it's just an honor to be able to be a witness for Jesus Christ all around the world. Some days are wonderful, like the days we were on this vacation. Seven years ago tonight, not so wonderful. Because seven years ago tonight, my mom passed away. That was the hardest night of my life. So difficult, so hard. And, you know, time has healed some wounds, but some things are really, really difficult. And some things only God can heal. And while we have a new normal and we enjoy traveling and doing things together and we teach school and we sing and we minister, there's still a void there. My mom's not here. But I can't sit here totally sad. I, I'm very sad. I miss my mom. But I know where she is. I know she's in heaven with Jesus. And I know that one day we're going to see her again. We're going to see all of our loved ones again. Those who've had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And above that, we're going to see Jesus Christ face to face. Can you imagine the joy that we're going to feel when we kneel before the throne of God. How amazing. I can't quite imagine it, but I know it's going to be incredible, beyond anything we've ever seen. Maybe you're watching this video and you've lost a loved one, or something tragic's happened in your life, whether seven years ago or more recent, or even farther in the past. And perhaps you don't have this reassurance that you'll see your loved ones again. You don't have this hope in Jesus Christ. And I'd be failing you miserably if I didn't stop right now and tell you that you too can have this hope in Jesus Christ because it doesn't matter what you're facing in life. Jesus Christ is greater. His love transcends everything in this entire world. His power and His might and His grace and mercy will reach beyond the deepest sin the darkest hour. He loves you so very much tonight, friends. Whatever you're going through, call on Jesus Christ. Just say, Jesus, help. When I was born, I was born lifeless, and my parents prayed simply, Jesus, help. The doctors had given up all hope. They were working with my mom and said, you know, it's just, we're sorry. But my parents did not give up hope. And Jesus reached out and healed my body and raised me to life again. And I'm so very grateful. And I want to tell as many people as I can about the saving power of Jesus Christ. He saved my life. He saved my soul. He is my best friend. And I thank God every day for what He does in my life. And I pray that you too will call on the name of Jesus Christ and that you will be saved. And that you'll develop a relationship with Jesus Christ just like I have so that you can have hope forevermore. Because the only lasting hope in this world, full of turmoil and despair, is found in Jesus Christ. I hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful week ahead, and that you can tell someone about Jesus Christ, just as I try to do everywhere I go. May God bless you, and if you have any prayer needs or anything like that, please email me. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, there's hope in Jesus Christ. No matter what you're going through, He loves you. 
In the Bible we're reading Psalms, it says, Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. God is our refuge and strength, a help in times of trouble. Just like He helped me through that night seven years ago that was so, so difficult. He will help you through anything in your life as well. Call on Jesus today. And go! Tell someone about Jesus Christ and the love that He has for you and I. Thank you.